The Church of Scientology, there's been so much written and reported over the years, much of it negative. But what's the truth about the religion, and what kind of impact does it have here in Utah? For the first time, a local Scientology church leader agreed to be interviewed, to talk candidly, and to answer questions about what goes on inside. Here's Good for Utah's Randall Carlisle. This is their church in the heart of Sugar House at 11th East and 19th South. It's open seven days a week. Anyone can walk in. So what do they do inside? We have a variety of courses. Um, we do counseling and we have Sunday services every Sunday at 11 o'clock that everybody is welcome to. Do you pray at the service? No, we don't pray. Do you sing songs? No, we don't sing songs. Instead, they tell me, they have a sermon topic from their founder, L. Ron Hubbard, and they talk about it. They also have this mission building at 400 South, 353 East. They say they have about 6,800 members locally and that the religion has been in Utah for almost 60 years. Inside this building, they do spiritual counseling, what they call an audit, using a measuring device called an e-meter. Basically, it is to locate areas of distress in somebody's lives and basically help them handle that. And check this out, 7th East and South Temple, 43,000 square feet. The church is growing. Next year, Scientologists will be moving in there. From what they describe to me, Scientology is basically a blend of science and spirituality, belief in an immortal spirit and improving that spirit here on Earth using Scientology methods. They tell me they don't deal or dwell on concepts like heaven or hell or what happens when you die like many other religions do. They just focus on your spirit. Therefore, many Scientologists also belong to other churches. So I can be LDS and a Scientologist? Absolutely you can, yes. Or a Methodist and Scientologist? Of course. Or a Catholic? Absolutely. Or a Jew? Yes, and we do have a lot of other religions that come in and take our services. In fact, they claim many local Scientologists are also Mormons. Within minutes of the World Trade Center disaster, volunteer ministers were on site. In this Scientology video, church officials say working on the human spirit includes sending volunteer ministers to disasters all over the world. Another arm of the church, United for Human Rights, takes on issues like human trafficking. We have just touched briefly on their beliefs and what they do. There's a lot more on their website, Scientology.org. But if they are willing to share all this with ABC4 and anyone else, why the perception of secrecy and mystery surrounding Scientology? I have no idea, Randall, because, you know, we're open seven days a week and anybody is very welcome to come in and ask us questions, talk to us, see what we do, you know. We're a very open religion and we welcome anybody. Their beliefs and their methods of doing things may be different than yours, but they seem to work for millions of members in dozens of countries around the world. Randall Carlisle, Good for Utah. Thank you, Randall. Like other religions, Scientologists perform marriages and baptisms, but they call those naming ceremonies. They say they don't have a ban on drinking alcohol as long as it's in moderation. But they are opposed to the use of psychotropic drugs. They believe Scientology methods can help relieve mental problems like depression.